in history for this segment. We look back at the past to try and find lessons for now and in the future. Today is July 22nd, and it was on this day in 1893 that Catherine Lee Bates wrote her poem, America the Beautiful. A professor of English at her alma mater, Wellesley College, Bates and a friend were excited to teach a summer course at Colorado College. Lovers of the West, the two couldn't wait to take in the sights of the countryside by train. And it was after taking in the view from the top of Pikes Peak that she would sit down and write the first lines of a poem composed of all she had seen on her trip. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain. Y'all yo, 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 know the thing. The poem was a hit with the public, inspiring musicians like Samuel A. Ward to compose at least 75 different melodies for it. His is the one that you're hearing in your head right now, by the way. The tune was in the running for our national anthem at one time and continues to be for some. The quintessential American song. Now Ward, who died in 1903, would never know how popular his music would become. But Bates, who died in 1929, knew what her words meant to the public. If we all have such gratitude that Diddy wasn't around for it, oh, we would have at least 200 versions.